The Santa Claus rally is still with us, though it's not been without its struggles. Wall Street finished a second straight mixed session Wednesday, but the Dow, S&P 500, and NASDAQ are all higher for the first three days of the Santa Claus period, which runs through the final five trading days of the year and the first two of the new year. The Dow gained 90 points to close at 36,489, giving it a record close for the first time since November 8th, as well as a six-day win streak. The S&P 500 rose almost seven points, or a little more than a tenth of a percent, and that was also good for a record-closing high, its 70th of the year. The Nasdaq struggled all day and finished lower by 15.5 points, or a tenth of 1%. Morgan Stanley portfolio manager Andrew Slimman thinks 2022 will be a good year for the markets, just not quite as good as 2021. It is yet another good year, but it's much more tempered. And I think you're looking at mid-single digits, a low teens year, and that's because the earnings story continues But the Fed starts to throw some cold water onto it. And I think that's what leads to lower, albeit positive, uh, returns for the market next year. One of Wednesday's big winners was biotech company Biogen, leaping 9.5% after the Korea Business Daily reported Samsung was in talks to acquire Biogen for more than $40 billion. Biogen told CNBC it does not comment on rumors or speculation. The new day will bring the final government economic report of 2021 when the Labor Department reports weekly initial jobless claims. Economists think first-time claims for jobless benefits will come in at 205000 for last week, which would be unchanged from the week before. And Virgin Orbit will begin trading on the NASDAQ Thursday. The space travel company has officially completed its merger with blank check company NextGen Acquisition following shareholder approval on Tuesday. Peter Schack now, CNBC. Ford's EV push, ready to bury Musk. Apple, own it, don't trade it. Cooper Software, Twilight of the Idols. What he's thinking, what he's trading, in your inbox. The CNBC Investing Club with Jim Cramer. Subscribe today.